this is your vagina hole. Like you're shoving this thing in here and then just like living inside. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Maddie V. If you're new here, hi. If you're old here, hi. I'm Maddie V. I have not sat in front of my camera in so freaking long. I like can't remember how to do this. It's super weird. I have taken a bit of like a hiatus on YouTube. I'm putting out content, but like it's just like snippets of things. I'm not like super active on YouTube right now. I've had a huge move. I had some crazy things go down in my life, but life is on the up and up. I am seriously so happy with my move, with my job, with everything. I, I had a little bit of a dip, but we're on our way up to greatness and we're here again and we're here for a video and I'm so, so excited. Nixie actually sent me their menstrual cup to try. So I did take that for a whirl and I have some first impressions. Definitely, definitely disclaimer, first impressions. If you did see my last period vlog, I tried menstrual discs out and those obviously weren't the best for me. It feels really weird when you take it out and also there is blood everywhere. Everywhere. What was that? Oh my god, I just queen. I tried these um, soft disc menstrual cups. No, menstrual discs. And they look like this. They have a little parachute catcher thing to catch all the blood in there. And this is what I used and I, I didn't like them. They basically leaked everywhere. Um, it was really messy. In my last vlog, I was like, it's gross, it's disgusting. And I felt kind of bad for saying that because it's just, it's natural. Like I don't want people to feel bad for having periods or being bloody and being messy. And basically this is just, for me, it, was, it wasn't my thing. Like I had a really hard time taking it out. I had a really hard time with just like how much of a mess it was. So I was a little bit skeptical to try the Nixit cup just because it's the same concept. It's just a reusable form of it. Um, if you want to put the two next to each other, this is what they look like. So the Nixit cup looks like this it has like a double ridge it's made out of a hundred percent bpa free silicone am i saying that right yeah bpa free silicone oh also this is the packaging i think it is literally so cute so this looks just like the cup on there and then when you open it this is where the cup sits it says empowerment is in embarrassment is out it has some like cute words of encouragement, some directions on the back, and then it says period on the side. I think that's so cute. It also comes with this little jawstring bag that you can keep your cup in, which I also think is cute. This is like my favorite color. Pink is my favorite color if you guys knew, but yes, this is the disc. I did use it. I will go into that more in a second, but I just kind of wanted to talk about the menstrual cup, what a menstrual cup is, and everything. Basically, a menstrual cup is like an alternative to a tampon or a pad. Instead of absorbing the blood, it collects the blood. So basically, you squeeze it and then you insert it in as you would a tampon, and then it just kind of sits on the cervical bone and it forms to your body. Like it forms to your insides and it collects the blood in this shape. A menstrual cup kind of drew me in for multiple reasons. Um, it drew me in because less waste, obviously, because this is a reusable cup. Um, it retails for $42, I believe. And you can just reuse this cup, wash it, reuse it, buy multiple of it if you don't want to like deal with the bloodiness or whatever. But you can definitely reuse these. This menstrual disc was not reusable. This one was something that you inserted, you put it in, you took it out, you threw it away. And then obviously, well, not obviously, but tampons are something that you also throw away. They're disposable and pads as well. I'm trying to be more self-aware of my waste and, and doing small things I can to kind of diminish my, what you call it, carbon footprint or whatever the heck it is. I was really drawn into this and also tampons are just extremely uncomfortable. I don't like the string. I don't like having to worry about it, especially with summer here. I'm gonna wanna be in my bathing suit and in shorts and that string is just not it. I don't like sticking up my butt crack. I don't like pulling it forward. I just, I don't like strings. I don't like tampons. I just like, periods are just sometimes so hard in general and like, anyway, rant over. They also sent me this 
um, Nix It Cleansing Wash. You can use it as a menstrual cup wash or a vaginal like body wash. I haven't used it as a body wash yet, but I did use it as a wash for this. It was really easy to use. It's foaming. Um, it doesn't smell like anything. It actually has no scent at all. It does say that it's fragrance-free, pH balanced, paraben and sulfate-free, plant-based, and suitable for sensitive skin. So maybe I will use it as a vaginal wash, but I just haven't yet. So my first impressions with Nixit was obviously that the packaging is so freaking cute. I think that the colors just pop. I think everything is very like modern and cute and it really drew me in in terms of the packaging. But of course, packaging is not everything. It's all about the actual product. And I did try the product. I will say, disclaimer here, it says to get used to Nixit. It honestly verbatim says, it can take a couple of cycles to find your rhythm with Nixit. We know we've been there too. We hope you embrace the journey of getting to know your body and cycle just a little bit better. The more relaxed you are, the easier insertion and removal will become. Something that I loved about this little manual here was that I felt like they were talking to me. It felt like they were talking to a person. They were, the directions were very personable and you don't really come across that very often. You usually come across directions as being very robotic and dry. As comfortable as I may seem about talking about my period, your period is something that's just like super uncomfortable. And so this made me more comfortable. It made me feel normal. It made me feel excited to use this. It has tips and tricks, how to clean it, support, precautions. It even says here under the support part, we know periods are personal and that's why we're here to provide the support community and education around menstruation. I thought that was really freaking cool. And I think that's great marketing. So back to what I was saying, I used this for the first time on my period. I just got off of my period. This is a bit of like a funky story. I was so excited to use the menstrual cup. I waited until about my day two and a half of my period to use the cup because last period was really, I had heavy flow. I kept leaking through all of the menstrual discs, um, wherever that went. I kept leaking through all the discs and I was like, you know what? I just, I need to obviously try it when I'm a little bit lighter. So I tried the cup when I was lighter on my period, two and a half days. And I ended up going to the doctor to get STI screened. And she was like, well, while, while you're here, why don't you just like get a pap smear? So I got a pap smear and I ended up having to go to the bathroom and taking my cup out because I thought I was just gonna have to do like a pee test but they ended up just like going straight straight in with everything after I got my pap smear I got home I put the disc back in and my period just like stopped like I it, it it's been like three days later and it just like has never come back I don't know if my period got scared I don't know if the doctor scared it off with the swabbing I don't know what it was but it's, it's just it's just gone but when I did put it back in after my doctor's appointment, I did notice a little tiny bit of leakage, but when I went to go investigate the issue, I realized that I didn't shove it in far enough. Um, so it leaked a little bit, which obviously if you don't put it in right, it's not gonna work correctly. I reinserted it correctly and then I wore it overnight and I had absolutely no leakage. But also with the no leakage, I also barely had any blood come out. So I'm definitely gonna try this again on my next period. So I'm gonna have to wait a whole nother month to try it again, but I'm actually gonna start with it from day one so that I can either make another period vlog or just post on my Instagram story what went on with kind of like a full flow. So because my period kind of was really funky and it went away after I got my pap smear, is that like normal? I'm not complaining because, you know, a three day period is totally fine with me, but I just thought that was like kind of funky, funny, weird. And I'm kind of bummed because I really did want to keep using this menstrual cup so I could like give you guys my full impressions, but first impressions it is. Um, anyway, I asked on Instagram, do you guys have any questions about using a menstrual cup and a lot of you guys answered so thank you thank you thank you for that if you do want to follow me on social media i'm maddie villa underscore on everything tiktok twitter instagram um i think that's all the social media platforms i have obviously youtube but you're here now so hey one of the questions was what is it basically a menstrual cup is like what I explained before. A menstrual cup is a alternative to a tampon or a pad. It is a device that um, collects the blood rather than absorbs it. There is so many different types of menstrual cups. There's like 
menstrual cups like a diva cup that has a little um, thingy that you can like pull like wiggle it out of your body if you're not too used to like where the nicks it you kind of have to like reach in there and like scoop it out um, same with this obviously because there's no string or um, what do you call it like handle I don't know another question was which I thought was an amazing question and I didn't even think about this because I'm personally not on birth control right now and I've never had an IUD but someone asked is it safe to use with IUDs I actually went on the Nixit website this is just the answer for Nixit in general this is not the answer for menstrual cups if you do want to try a menstrual cup and you decide to go diva cup you decide to go flex you decide to go nix it whatever you decide to go i would do your own research if you have an iud but on the nix it website they did say you can use it with an iud but they would recommend talking to your doctor beforehand just to kind of get maybe all the information the next question is i can have heavy days can i get through a work day or would i need to clean out at the office from what i've read on the nix it website for this particular brand of menstrual cup it says that you can keep it in for 12 hours. So it says that you shouldn't really have to change it throughout the day since you can keep it in for 12 hours. But I'm just kind of skeptical on that because the soft discs also said that you could keep it in for 12 hours and max, I think I was able to keep my soft disc in for like five to six hours. Don't quote me on that. But essentially like the same time as a, a tampon. So if you are heavy and have heavy days, I would maybe wear like a pad or a panty liner just so you don't ruin your underwear because there could be leakage. Are you scared to laugh with the inside? I'm actually not. It was really comfortable. Another question was like, is it comfortable? Does it feel like a tampon? Does it hurt? Blah, blah, blah. No, it was really, really comfortable. So I inserted it in and I couldn't even feel it. Like I thought that I would be able to feel it. I thought it'd be noticeable. This thing is not small. Like compared to my hand, it pretty much is like the size of my palm. So if you can imagine like this is your vagina hole, like you're shoving this thing in here and then it's just like living inside. And surprisingly, I could not feel it at all. And it was actually comfortable. I was able to like move around. I was like jumping and like testing it and I really couldn't feel anything. Another common question I got like was, does it hurt? Like, does it hurt like tampons can do sometimes? Like I said, no, like I didn't feel any pain. Um, when I took it out, I didn't feel any pain. Um, the only thing that I feel is like uncomfortableness. Like nothing feels good coming out of your vagina. Obviously a baby doesn't feel very good. Um, pulling out a tampon, if it's like dry, can sometimes not feel good and sometimes hurt. This came out and it feels uncomfortable, but it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. Like it's just like, it's really soft. It's comfortable. It's very moldable. Um, and yeah, it just, it didn't hurt. How do you empty it in a public bathroom? Like, did you have to take it to the sink and wash it? So when I emptied it at the doctor's office, I took it out and I pretty much put some toilet paper on my hand and carried it over to the sink, turned the hot water on and washed it. I do realize that you could carry this wash with you. It's kind of large so I don't know if I'd like put it in my purse but Nix it also does sell wipes so that you can like bring a wipe with you and you can wipe it down on the website it does say that you can purchase two and have one as backup if you do need to change it and you're not comfortable changing it in public on the website it also said that if you carry like a water bottle around like I know I carry my water bottle everywhere you can bring your water bottle to the bathroom and just kind of like dump water over it to clean it um, and then it comes with this bag so you can put it in the bag and either take it to the sink can wash it and go back in like I don't know how you want to do it the reason why I don't think that changing it midday will be a huge huge deal is because since it's supposedly you can put it in for 12 hours I feel like that's a good amount of time to put it in somewhere before you leave and change it when you're at home in the comfortability of your own home it also says that you can change it in the shower if you really want to um, so Yes, if you really had to change it in a public restroom and you're in an individual stall where you can't just get up and wash it in a sink, I would definitely do the water bottle thing or carry some sort of wipe, whether it is a Nixit wipe or just a wipe in general that you have. Can you reuse them? Yes, like I've said a million times in this video, you can reuse these. Um, 
there's some cat hair on it you can reuse these um that is like i said the biggest thing that drew me in because they were reusable i'd rather spend 40 something dollars once than constantly buy tampons because the tampons are so expensive why why i didn't have a choice to have a period i didn't ask to have a period i just had one and now i'm forced to pay all this money to clog my vag and make sure that no blood comes out Ugh, so annoying so another common question I got was about inserting it and removal. Inserting it was fairly easy, but like I said, I did get practice by using the menstrual disc first. And then in general, if you are a tampon user, I feel like you'll get the gist of it. It is something you have to get used to and it is something that will come easier with time. At this point, I'm very comfortable with with, th with this whole situation. But I will say the menstrual disc, this part right here is, it's hard. Like it is hard and it's easy to just like put through your vagina and it's easy to insert because it's, it's hard. Whereas the menstrual cup, Nixit in general, was a little bit more flaccid. So yes, it does have this double ridge, which is like easy to insert but it did take a little bit more force to kind of get in there. But with that being said, because it was a little bit more soft and flaccid, it is more comfortable inside. You really have to make sure though that when you put it in, it's sitting correctly because you don't want it like halfway in, halfway out. You wanna make sure it's sitting on that cervix bone. And what if you do end up getting a menstrual cup, any kind of menstrual cup, it'll give you directions um, and it'll show you where to put it. You wanna make sure you don't feel it. If you do feel it, that's when you know it's in wrong. You don't wanna feel it, you want it to be comfortable. I'm not gonna like show you how to put it in because I don't know, I don't think that's a lot on the internet. Another thing that I thought was really easy this is gonna be really awkward. But when you're sitting on the toilet, if you like put like put your tippy toes up like this, like you're on your tippy toes and then you like put it in, that's really easy like when you're sitting on the toilet because then your like legs are like up like this instead of you on the toilet kind of like this. It you're it's just you're open. You're giving it a lot of surface area. Surface area? No, I don't know. It's just it's open. It's like yeah, anyway, removal. The removal process was something that I personally had to get used to. If you saw my period vlog with taking out these, ouchie. Um, did not feel good. It was just like very uncomfortable, very rigid. This was a very way, oh my God, a way easier removal process. So basically you'll put your finger, you'll feel for the disc, and then you'll just like pull it out and it comes out. Like it's hard to explain, like I said, you'd have to try it for yourself, but you just feel the, fr the front of it when you stick your fingers in and then you pull it out and then you just pull it out. And when I pull it out, it usually comes out like this. Um, so you have to kind of watch for spillage, but you can um, move it so that you're not spilling it everywhere. I did notice too that on the bottom of it, like, you know when you have like the more mucusy blood, um, it some mucusy blood was like caught on the bottom. So I would definitely either with your bare hand if you're brave or with a paper towel or a wipe, just hold underneath, um, whether you are walking to the sink, whether you're getting your water bottle out, whatever you're doing to um, get ready for your removal. Yeah. So basically, all in all, I haven't used the Nixit enough to really be like, you need this product, you have to go get it, this is amazing, but I've heard friends that really, really like it. I haven't used it, like I said, on a full blown, like heavy flow period. But from what I did experience from using Nixit for the first couple days, it's comfortable, it's easy to remove, it's easy to insert. The packaging is obviously very cute. Um, the company in general seems like they have the consumer in mind, which I also really like. So basically, first impressions, I'm going to use this again. I'm excited to use it again. Um, I'm excited to try this wash as like a wash. Um, I've used it to clean the cup, like I said, but I wanna try it as a wash. So I'll definitely give you guys like an update on that. Um, I think maybe I'm gonna try like a Diva Cup next. So I'm gonna try a Diva Cup. I will give you guys like the comparison from that to this, maybe on my next one. 
I'm really excited. I don't know why I like love period products so much, but like I just think it's like fun to like figure things out. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps me out. If you want to follow me on social media, you definitely can do that as well at MaddieVilla underscore on everything. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to call your mom, call your dad, wear a mask, kiss your cat on the head for me, water your plants, and just live your best life. I am going to be more consistent about putting videos out because I love YouTube. It is my favorite hobby and I just love you guys so much and all the support that you guys have given me and I missed you guys and big hug. Love you. Okay, bye.